Hi, I'm Gary Boitler, and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about a very exciting time in every family's life when they bring home a new baby from the hospital. Everyone's concerned about the care and feeding of that baby, but also concerned about uh, bathing that baby. So the big question is, should you be bathing that baby in your tap water? Well, if your water's hard, definitely not. The hardness in the water, the calcium magnesium that makes it hard, will coat the baby's skin and definitely lead to rashes and uh, other skin discomforts for the baby. Um, also the chemicals in, if you're on a municipal water system, the chemicals in that uh, system, the chlorine, fluoride, other chemicals that are in the water, again, are very hard for the baby's skin. The largest organ on our body is our skin. And um, by bathing in chlorinated water, we actually take in more chlorine than we do, would by drinking it. So, um, so that becomes a big concern. So um, Dr. Oz, well-known uh, television celebrity, also recommends do not bathe your baby in tap water. You need to remove the chemicals first. So what should you do? Well, uh, if your water's hard, you definitely need to get a water softener. Um, water softener, I guess one a high efficiency one would be a good route to go. Also, one of the advantages of this water softener is it not only softens the water, it also removes the chemicals from the water, the chlorine and other chemicals, all in one machine. Um, if you already have a water softener, then um, you need to remove the chemicals from the water if you're on a municipal system. So one way that you can do that is you can put in a filter housing like this one, and uh, within that filter housing, carbon filter like this, um, will remove the chemicals from your water. You will have to change the filter, obviously, periodically. Depending on the size of your, size of your family and how much chlorine is in the water, probably about twice a year. Another route would be to go with an automatic backwashing carbon filter like this one here. Now, this one cleans itself automatically and there's no filters to replace. So again, it looks, it looks after it, everything by itself on a timer. Um, if you're on well water, you need to make sure that the water is iron free, in addition to it being soft, of course, and you have to make sure that there's no sulfur in the water. Again, the other things that can cause discomfort for your baby's skin. Um, we also want to make sure if you're on a surface water source, be it well water or lake water, river water, something like that, you have an ultraviolet light to make sure there's no bacteria in the water. Definitely don't want to be bathing that uh, baby in um, water that has bacteria in it. One of the great advantages of treating your water is it's also going to make the, the home easier to keep clean for mom and it's also going to make uh, your laundry come out a lot softer. So again, softer diapers, softer bedding for the baby once uh, the water is soft will definitely be, uh, minimize the, the chance of skin irritation for that newborn baby and make the water a lot uh, better for the whole family and actually save you money too. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos as they become available on our channel. And if you'd like some more information, you can go to our websites, either the thewaterstoremidland.com or the thewaterfilteresstore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.